Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a fun little first impressions video on the Strider SNG I received. It is in the Lego configuration as you can see and it has flamed titanium on the lock side. If you hear thunder that's because it's about to rain and I'm trying to knock these out real quick. So here we have a look on the blade. And I really like this configuration um, because a lot of the times when you see a flame titanium handle, uh, handle you have a tiger stripe blade. And I'm really uh, thankful and uh, happy that I was able to get the configuration with just a stone wash blade. So this knife... Uh, this knife is like every Strider should be. Uh, it feels great in the hand. Feels great choked up. Um, ergonomics are just squared away on this knife. Second to none, even hinder. Um, I think that the Strider stands its own. This knife has been sharpened by me. It is actually fresh off the bench. Or the sharpening table in my case. Um, this knife is S30V, as you can see there, and this is the best S30V I've ever sharpened. I have sharpened tons of S30 and S35 VN steels, but specifically S30. I've sharpened a ton of paramilitaries, Mannixes, um, Benchmade 940s, a ton of knives in uh, S30V, and this is the best heat-treated, um, Steel or S30V that I have ever sharpened. I'm just going to do a little cut test here. Sorry about that, guys. Um, it was wasn't focused, and I accidentally knocked the camera down. Let's go again. Whoops! Ran out of cutting edge. Let's do push cut. Yeah, it'll push cut. This knife isn't the, there we go. This knife isn't the thinnest. It's about 17 degrees per side and you can see that it's fairly broad. Not overly so in my opinion. Whoops. Man, this thing is just silent going through though. So, um, that's what I think about the steel. Um, it's ground. Okay. You can see it's a little wavy here. At the edge. But I don't mind that much. <clears throat> Fit and finish um, on this particular one. It's not bad. You can see the jimping lines up fairly well up here down here you know it's not too bad it's not perfect but it's not horrendous centering is off to the right a little bit I could probably fix that by tightening the pivot up a tad but right now it's with no blade play in any direction absolutely solid I look forward to doing the full review on this knife feel kind of bad because I just also got uh, this mantra too yesterday and I carried it I love this little knife um, but now that I have the strider it's probably gonna be a while before any other knife gets some pocket time just because it's a new knife and I'm falling in love with it and it has this those uh, unique strider sounds that you know from watching videos it doesn't really sound like any other knife I'll just give you a quick you know a little macro view of the knife for the awesome flame titanium I did get this knife in a trade um, I traded a ferrum for in tack for it 
and the other guy threw him some cash to make the, the uh, deal more even. It's got some marks on it, not a big deal. This side actually looks pretty pristine. This side though, you can see some scratches. Like I said, not a big deal, I don't care. I'm going to be using this thing. And the stone wash does such a good job at hiding scratches. Alright, so that's just my little first impression. Oh, also, this lock is about as perfect as you can ask. Locks up very consistently at the same spot. No lock rock or slip. Or stick. Absolutely no stick. So yeah, I think I got a pretty good strider here. Look forward to getting to know it more and doing the full review.